Hi, Julie Powell here. Welcome back for another look behind the scenes of this particular image, which I called Seascapes. So this is the um, final image, and I'm just going to drop right back to the start. And I used the background with a couple of Joe Johnson images, um, and then I brought in this particular um, image of Haley, which is from the same series as the video that I just put up the other day, but it's actually a different shot. Um, so very, very similar shot at the same time and everything, but yeah, it is a slightly different shot. So, um, so I did change the color of it. Um, I wanted to use some sort of um, complementary colors so um, sort of the blue greeny sort of tone that I ended up in I wanted something more of a, an orange towards the red um, and it was just about um, making it look like um, she was in the waves so um, I put in some um, errant waves and some splashes um, and whirlpool effects and things like that um, I then put in um, these particular little um, icons that I had. So there was um, a little fob watch um, sort of story about time and the key is key to knowledge, the key to wisdom, the phone for communication, things like that. Um, so these were um, images that were very much in my mind when I was creating this piece. So um, I then put in these fish because she just felt a bit lonely without them really. Um, and I recolored the fish once they were extracted and I've also put them one, this one here was jumping out of the water, um, whereas this one here was partially submerged. And then of course I put my um, articles up here um, in little bubbles so it's sort of like a day at the beach but it's sort of a bit quirky and and all the rest of it um, so I ran a gradient map which was um, just a sort of standard gradient map in Photoshop then I did um, crisp winter as a lookup table and that was dropped right down to 18%. Then I also did another one of teal orange plus contrast, which is also at normal, but I've dropped that down to 35. I then ran an action called Midsummer's Dream, um, which is another one from the Color Lab, and tinkered around with that a little bit and dropped that down to 35%. I then brought in um, one of my textures this is old linen which just looks like that basically um, so it's literally just a piece of old linen that was all grunged up and stretched over a, a frame so um, that I took a photo of and made that into a texture that I use all the time um, and there was just a few I added in the the Sun coming through um, and sort of sort of bubbles and sunlight and leaks and all the rest of it so I sort of wanted it to have a little bit more of a, a happy sort of summer theme even though we're smack bang in the middle of winter here and it's cold and wet and horrible here um, so another gradient map which was more in the the sepia tonings and a bit of a partial vignette and that's pretty much it so I mean these were all really quite simple I mean the bubbles were just um, bubbles that I'd extracted and set to screen so that they're partially transparent um, so it's just this um, working with these um, model images where you can see the face sort of stretching up yearning up through the fabric but they're completely enclosed they've got no idea what's going on um, so I guess it's a little bit of a an unconscious thought of um, yeah how we're dealing with ISO which is a word that yeah none of us thought we'd have to live with all the time but um, 
yeah so this is just another piece that's created in isolation a little bit of a fun piece um, hopefully a little more hopeful than um, some of the other pieces that I've been doing so I will put a speed edit up and um, yeah thanks for watching bye for now mm -hmm.